Just say love keeps us from getting hung up on whatever we're attracted to. It's, it's a mnemonic device. He's wrong, you know. Plato? <laughs> Are you trying to rationalize Plato? He says we must see the attraction for what it is and go beyond consummation, sublimate the physical desire to the more noble and sublime. That's when you discover other pleasures. When the physical nature of love moves to a higher plane, to a spiritual realm, one questions if love emanates from the heart or elsewhere. When we see a godlike face or form, anyone sitting here? We are amazed. What do you think? As Plato says, we're asleep right now because of the things we're attracted to. We get caught up in them, but sometimes another piece of the puzzle comes along. And, and we wake up and we're all happy and excited and horny. Yes! No. When we see something that reminds us of our true self, we are amazed and a shudder runs through us. Shudder? <sighs> horny. So. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. It just it felt more natural out there in the park, you know? I hear a guy can get a blowjob real easy around here. That's what all you macho guys talk about? No, hey, it's, it's cool. It's not like it used to be. Everybody talks about it. Is it money? What? Money. You do other guys. Yeah, and they do me. Gay guys? That's worse. Worse? Yeah, at least with straight guys, they're not doing a lot of messing around. It, taking chances. Whoa, and who's straight? Me. Me. Look, you're not a woman I could get involved with, and I'm not a gay guy you could get involved with. Simple as pie. I'm getting done by a gay guy. Living a life between the forces of two worlds, where passion, responsibility, and conscience collide. Babies do soon. <laughs> yeah, so? So, I gotta go, okay? No. What? No, it's not okay. No strings. I know. See ya. <laughs> the heart hears only one voice, spoken from the seat of wisdom throughout the millennia. The natural voice of happiness. My father had made it clear he didn't like having a queer son. But you gave me the courage to be who I am, even to him. After I left your apartment that night, I felt strange. Like all the people on the street, especially the guys, were all staring at me. But then I began to look at them. I look. I love you, Charlie. I love you. Oh my God! Oh, oh! <laughs> Pervading love validates the history of man's nature. Plato would approve. Yes. Just Say Love. Written for the stage by David J. Moriello. And now preserved through the lens for the everyman in all of us by Stage Right Films. <laughs>